Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I go by the name Ayo. And of course, you know that I'm only one half of the duo Ayo Kwe, and I'm here with my beautiful wife. Introduce me, baby. Yeah, okay. you say my name now. <laughs> I'm here with my beautiful wife, Okwe. Hi, Okwe guys. Yemi. Yes. The only woman that I sang a song for. Wow. <laughs> I'm talking writing lyrics for days, mm. Come you know. On. Because she deserve it. Thank you. <laughs> I deserve my accolades. Uh... <laughs> if you're new to the channel, guys, you're tuned in to Ayokwe TV. What are you waiting for? Make sure you subscribe to our channel because this channel will bless you. All right. We are currently and still in the series where we talk about 10 over 10. So it's a marriage series where we're talking about matrimony and marriage. And we have beautiful couples that we're talking to okay so if you've not seen the last episode make sure you go and check it and all of the subsequent episodes that will come all right so we have some very important guests some very energetic guests <laughs> but i'll allow i'll allow of where we do honors to that <laughs> we have the beautiful oh known as i mean the government name let's say is brunel and dickball but we know them as brew and dips yeah. what was your hashtag was it road to be destined destined to be destined to be i remember their wedding you know it was that 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 wedding was lit thank, yeah, you. thank you that wedding was lit <laughs> so and we've got you guys here today first of all we want to say thank you thank you happy to be here for honoring our invitation yes mm. and you know when you see a couple that even after marriage they look even better <laughs> look, at, look at them shining no, come really, on like, you guys are glowing you guys, you are guys, are look, you guys look you on guys point yeah. Yeah. and it's not even half you know sometimes the man looks haggard sometimes <laughs> or the woman looks haggard woman, yeah, yeah. You, you can see someone has been taking more <laughs> in the marriage but these guys now you guys are giving each other a real glow and uh, I love it we've been looking good. after each other we've been looking yeah. after well done, well well done, well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> At least she brings the share button. Yeah. To us, so thank God. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nice, nice, nice. So it, it's nice it. to have you guys today. Nice to be um, here. For you guys who don't know, this is a different perspective, uh, Bruno and Dickbo, because you guys have actually been married how long? Just a year. We are Just... babies in the game. You're babies a in year. the game. Yeah. But yeah. So when, 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 when was it a year? Um, 27. August, yeah. So like two weeks, So August. So like, weeks, okay. okay, just over a year now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well done. One, one year in marriage. You guys, Thank made you. Fruit. you guys, honestly. <laughs> that's a major milestone, that's bro. That's a major yeah, milestone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> major milestone. No, because Trust after me. three months, guys, people yeah, are throwing in the towel. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true, true. And I think um, one thing I learned about the first year is it's basically is compared to paper. It's like the year of paper. Mm. And the reason why they call it paper is because it's a blank slate. You have an mm. opportunity to build on it. You mm. have an opportunity to draw, paint, do wow. what you want. However, it's also very fragile mm. and it's easily terrible. So it requires a lot of caution and a lot of intentionality. So yes. year one, year of paper. You made wow. it. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank the paper Lord. didn't tear. The paper didn't tear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The paper didn't tear like nice. Love it, love it, love okay, it. Okay, I think to start, let's do, you know, a little icebreaker. For sure. Mm -hmm. You guys, I'm sure these guys. If you want games night, if you want to know about games night, <laughs> yes. they're, they're the they're the ones. They're the, they're the ones. So we're gonna play a little game today. We're mm -hmm. gonna play the Mr. and Mrs. game. I'm okay. sure you guys play that. You're anyway. Uh, so you don't even you know you know the deal. And <sighs> and we're saying the truth as it is, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, because the before Not we filtered. started. You the know, truth. we talked about a previous Mr. and Mrs. that they played. Okay, yeah. so this one is not like that one. Yeah. No, that's, that's your one. You know. oh. So if it, oh, if it, yeah, if it applies to Dickbo, yeah. then the blue one. If it applies to you, yeah, then <laughs> oh gosh. Cool. Right, <sighs> first question. Because don't don't cheat. Yeah, <laughs> who snores the loudest? Ha! Uh, <laughs> we all know. I've, uh, I've got videos. <laughs> You've got I've videos. Got <laughs> Send the evidence. You know what? Evidence. No, sorry, Send sorry. that evidence in. Do you know what it is? We've <laughs> got one time one where time. I was really, you know, you're really tired <laughs> and I was slow and loud. But okay. on the day to day, <laughs> don't worry. I want to say to Ayo, the prettiest girls snore. <laughs> I don't the know about that. The prettiest girls <laughs> snore. It's not a crime to snore. It's okay. It's so, okay. So, Dips, did you know that she's, she used to snore before? Or was that a shocker? Nah, it wasn't. And tell the truth, I snore all the time. 
I'm too busy sleeping tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> when she's snoring, ah, the whole house will know. It's shaking, <laughs> right? It's shaking. It's like... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey. So, I've got another one. Who said, I love you first? This guy. <laughs> guys. <laughs> guys, <laughs> what's happening? It, what's this, happening? Is, this is an age-old debate. Yeah, this is a debate. Basically, oh, when I said, I love you, it mm. wasn't as a, like, oh my gosh, I love you so much. You know when you say, oh, I love you, babe? Like, that kind of, I don't like, like a what's passing the thing? So there's no a, difference. It's a passing thing. You said that first, is what you're saying. I said that, said that, but okay. I was saying it fleetingly, not like, oh my gosh, I love you so much. I, like, that kind of thing. But he held on to it. <laughs> As if to say, I would hold on to it. I would hold on to it. Okay, so you love me, yeah? Okay, no problem. <laughs> yeah, okay. Funny. All right, then. Now that, I think this question is, now that you're married, who do you think eats more? Ah. Uh, Ah, confirmed. Yeah, yeah. confirmed. Ah, okay. I was going to say, I was going to say standard. Standard. Yeah, yeah. No, no. That's different for us. It's not standard. Because yeah. I eat, you eat more. more is it? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's I, why I'm I, looking skinny. That's, <laughs> and I'm looking not what, feeding me. I'm looking what exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I do. Skinny. I do actually Is it? More. No, I don't eat more of those. Like, I can go and eat ice cream, popcorn. No, I like, give me Proper food. food. Okay. With, like five meats. I will yeah. be so very snacks. happy. He snacks more, okay. but I, I snack eat. More. I eat more. I eat for the two of us. Wow. Basically. Yeah. 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 See? Me, yeah. I love a good meal, man. It shows me that you love me. Yeah. yeah you know mm. me. We're going to dive into that. <laughs> We're actually going to... Can you hear what you said? You said, I love a good meal. It shows me that you love me. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, okay. Yeah. Love it. I've got one more. Mm-hmm. Um, who is the better kisser? I have to humbly say she is. Okay. okay. Good, good. I like that. that. I like that. Yeah, that, yes. I like that one. Yes. But yes. well, you are not even sure. You're like... No, I'm laughing because... I'm thinking you better just tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It almost feels like Brunel Brunel t- taught you how to kiss. Nah. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. It's just sometimes I just jump the gun. I'm a bit too, I'm a bit too Calm down. So down. So down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You mentioned something very key <laughs> about how, you know, as guys... I think the guys just want to get on with it, Mm -hmm. you know, and not go through the process, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know, and, um, and sometimes it feels like when you don't want to go through the process, you're literally missing the steps Mm -hmm. that would make it guys. We're talking about sex, by the way. Yeah. 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 Speaking in parables. (laughs) I was like, just tell them. (laughs) (laughs) So we're talking about love making, okay. Mm. Passionate (laughs) love making. And, um, you know, so guys just want to, we don't want to kiss too much, generally, right? Mm-hmm. So we're we talking about get kissing, in it. <laughs> right? <laughs> so let me give, <laughs> oh my let me throw the question to you then. <laughs> yeah. So in terms of, so how have you, you know, navigated that conversation around, okay, it's not like, okay, do you talk about how long it should take for the pre warm ups? Um, or do you, do you just, well, how do you, how do you do it? Right. Well, we have you know, about so let's see. Yeah. Yeah, so we, can I go first? Go on, go on. Go on. Yeah. So we have spoken about it because I feel like when we first got married, there was, I felt like, uh, he's going to want a lot of sex and it's going to be a lot and it's going to be too much and I'm going to be nervous and stuff. Um, but what I realized is that a man's sexual appetite is a lot larger. Well, typically mm-hmm. than a woman. So like ex- exactly what you was describing is that when something started, it's like rushing, just, just calm down. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. Why are you I'm yours. So <laughs> I'm <here> forever. <laughs> rushing. You know when you're, you're trying to eat a meal yes, fast. Yeah. Like calm down. Mm. So I actually said it one day. I was like, oh babe, like can we have a chat? And mm. I actually said to him that I just feel like um, when it comes to us, like what I enjoy is mm. different to what you enjoy mm. or you might enjoy it, but not to the level that I enjoy mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. So please, can you take more time in mm. foreplay mm. and stuff like that? So yeah, we mm. had that conversation. How did you feel when Bruce said that to you? Uh, yeah, it, 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 it. I'm not going to lie to you, um, but at the same time, you just got to humbly take it mm. and say mm. like, we're here to serve each other, innit? That's it. And, 
whether some days it's going to be her day, some days it's going to be my mm. day. But if we're both willing to serve, yeah. then then we're going to be happy ultimately. So mm-hmm. I kind of had to take a step back and say, yeah, there's going to have to be times where it's just for her. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I just do my thing. And I allow her to, you know what I mean? After, what are you saying? You're good? How are you feeling? Like, you good? Mm-hmm. Right, cool, blah, blah, blah. Right, cool. Let me get my off, mine off now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, but this yeah, is, like what you're that. saying is this very is, true. Yeah. Yeah. Very true, yes. <laughs> so I think that's, that's probably the main thing for me. But I think mm-hmm. what we've also learned is that there have been times where I've kind of, you know, revealed the beast and she's like, enjoyed it, but it's not all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's not, everyday rough and tumble. it's not rough and tumble. <laughs> it's not. And it, it all also comes just to how we experience sex and what we, how our view on sex is before mm-hmm. we come into marriage. Mm-hmm. You think sex is just like coming through and pamming a girl and it's like yeah. it's not like that yeah. you're making love yeah. to your wife and yes there's def there's definitely sensual mm-hmm. uh things that you need to uh satisfy her with you mm-hmm. know what i mean and that's where you know the love comes in mm-hmm. the speaking breathing kissing mm-hmm. touching all mm-hmm. of this stuff that i'm not naturally inclined to do mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's definitely a, a it's a learning curve. 100%. Yeah, I love that. And, uh, I love and, that. and that could also be because of the way we've been raised gender wise. So mm. girls, we've been raised, even to say the word sex, it's like, oh God, yeah. Yeah. why did she say that? We've yeah. been raised for love making, yeah. Yeah. hugs, cuddles, kisses. But when you say, if you say love making to a guy, yeah. like it makes it sound like they say, ah, why would you say love yeah. this? Yeah. It's banging. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, to be honest, it's funny you said that because even I personally, growing up, love making was almost like a taboo because it was like, you're a weak guy. If you're yeah. making <laughs> love. If you're, you're making love. You're, you're making love. You're, you're soft. soft. You're soft. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. so yeah. love making was not really was a not. guy thing. So every guy, the, the um, average guy, needs to actually unlearn yes. yeah. you know, a lot of what he's heard or practiced mm. and then relearn you know the art of love making mm. yeah. so mm. so i'm glad i'm glad you said that and you said something very important you talked about serving each other yes serving each other because there's no selfishness mm-hmm. when it comes to that and in terms of i think both genders are actually guilty mm-hmm. right because we have seen where you know some guys are selfish mm-hmm. in the sense that they think it's just for me. Yeah. So I'm going there to just please myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She doesn't really matter. Yeah. And then we've seen selfishness from the other side where the girl is hurting her body. Mm. That's very true. That's she's very hurting true. her body. And she's using her it as a, we- weapon. a weapon. Yeah. Using to manipulate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah, manipulate, you know. So, yeah. you know, so I'm, so I'm glad you said that. Mm, I guess that comes from the fact that women, we think that we, is it that we own sex? Because we can, mm. you can, you can only weaponize it if you think yeah. you, you own it, mm. or that there's power in it. Yes. So you want to use. It's a bit manipulative. It actually. is. It is. So you want to use that power to manipulate situations. Exactly. Yeah. So that's where we sometimes work. That's where we fall short because, mm. like you said, service to each other, pleasing each other. So if you see it as a service to each other, mm-hmm. then you wouldn't see it as it's mine. Yeah. Mm. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. Yeah, absolutely. And then going back to to the love making thing, just to complement what you said, um, you have to first make love to her mind. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah, before yeah. you make love to her body, yeah. right? You need to love on her. Definitely. Yeah. So that goes back to all the speaking. Yeah. The from morning. From said. the from the yeah. morning yeah. of that day. From morning. From morning. You have to get into her mind. <laughs> you literally make love to her mind <laughs> yeah. and then everything can flow. Yeah. yeah. So what are your thoughts, guys, on um on makeup sex? I think it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even wait. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's um, yeah, it's very interesting actually Mm. because I feel like it was in makeup sex that I really deep the fact that wow, God has actually made sex for men and women to draw us closer to each other Mm. because there's no way you can be angry in that makeup. Well, you can, but (laughs) 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 what is it? I'm inside you. Exactly. You get what I mean? And I feel Mm. like for me, it was just like a. I remember the first time it happened. 
it felt like I want to be angry, yeah. but I can't be angry. Yeah. But then I, I love you, but then you're annoying me. Yeah. I'm it's angry, like, but I'm enjoying this. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm very angry with you right angry. now. Mm-hmm. But then it was just like, wow, like in that moment, pride has to go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Frustration is yeah. gone. Mm. All of those things in, are gone. And um, yeah, for me, it was just kind of like a, there's a there's a realm of emotions that I'm feeling, mm-hmm. but in the end, it's like I love this guy, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's so funny because you see what he said. I, I think it's great. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm coming to speak of all the emotions. Yeah. About it. Men and women. But this are is so men and different. women, exactly. Yeah. So so yeah, because you said amazing. So what's your what has what has been your experience? Is it just a mirror? Of um, I'll give you an example. There was a time when me and Brie were fighting. I can't remember what we were fighting about. Mm. But we were going to a concert on the day. It was going out, yeah. Yeah, we were going out. We were going out. So it, we were beefing for the whole day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Had an argument, all sorts. Heated. And then I remember just before we were going to go, around the time when we were getting ready, I remember like having my trousers on. She was in the, in the bedroom doing her makeup or getting her clothes ready or something like that. I remember God telling me, go and have sex with your wife. And I was thinking, rah. We're going to be late. We're going to be late. And I'm vexed. And she's vexed. But I thought, you know what? Let me just obey. (laughs) 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 You know what? Let me just obey. So off my trouser. I don't even... Wait. I went to the room. You said, you know... Can I say this way? Came to the room. It was so, like, who asked? But he was like, babe, can we have sex? (laughs) (laughs) I was like, what now? Bear in mind, we're did, beefing. We're angry. <laughs> we're angry. And not only that, we got to go. He yeah. said, yeah. I just feel, I think you even said, I just feel God saying that we should have sex mm-hmm. now. And I said, okay. So I dropped whatever I was doing. And then yeah. it happened. Yeah. And then we were just so happy. Yeah, and no. I'm sure you even laughed. After. We, laughed we laughed so laughed. much. And, and the concert so, was sweet. We enjoyed. We laughed so yeah. much. So much. Wow. That's yeah. that's 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 yeah. a whole new level. I didn't even think we've experienced that. Like now. that. Not like not that. Not like <laughs> that. Yeah. Not <laughs> like because there's times where okay, I feel because I know that it's gonna help. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I've never sort of just approached it like that, especially when for Yo. me, the Holy Spirit will tell me something like, okay, first of all, go and apologize. Yeah. Mm. And then, so I'll apologize. And then yeah. usually from there, mm. there'll be... Say, can I have a hug? Yeah. <laughs> can I have a kiss? <laughs> a proper kiss? Then we all know we what know. happens. So, so, so that has been... Okay, I'm so <laughs> it was actually very I'm funny. So... Can I speak in, Why? In my head, I was thinking, why is he asking? Mm. Why is he not? But then... I guess for you, it's kind for of like navigating like, that yeah, thought, yeah, like yeah, go and do yeah, it, mm-hmm. and we're not ha- we're not friends right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. Was I was of... still shocked in that whole yeah, moment as well. Yeah, so I was yeah. just thinking, okay, cool. How are we mm-hmm. gonna? And it just happens. Well, but you know, yeah. let, let me even just draw a lesson from that because it feels like so obviously it felt like God was telling you something, and in your mind, this was you wanting to obey, isn't mm-hmm. it? Mm-hmm. And so already there's a track record of again recognizing what God is telling you yeah. mm-hmm. at a certain time yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. and as well being able to obey yeah. okay, that yeah. voice because yeah. in this case now this is what actually helped you guys yeah. Yeah. even actually, though it felt like okay this is a bit this weird, is weird. Yeah. Yeah. but you know you guys were good and you know yeah. you, you enjoyed the rest of the day and you have that memory yeah, yeah the back of your mind and, and we, spoke you know. about, we spoke yeah. about it after like oh i wasn't happy when you did this and i wasn't happy so and you it was resolved just like, yeah, yeah we yeah. resolved it after but it was like it set the scene for us to resolve it mm-hmm. if you get what i mean so yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Even, i love that and and even just conflict because we might as well just go down to conflict resolution right now Wait, before you even go down to conflict okay because <laughs> okay. i want because you started here i didn't okay, plan okay, to start okay, okay, okay. so continue, let's continue, continue before we go down to that conflict or we'll come back to the conflict right um so wedding night how yeah. was the wedding night i think it was lovely um it was something that obviously it's highly anticipated mm. you know when you've said bye to your friends bye bye, bye. i think we were there for time i knew in my head that <laughs> ah you're going home to face the go upstairs <laughs> yeah because we stayed at the hotel for yeah. an extra night yeah so when we was walking down the corridor i said hmm i could hear this boy's heart beating <laughs> <laughs> so um what's it called we obviously got into the hotel room um mm-hmm. i asked for some assistance because um, uh-huh. I was wearing a corset, 
Um, and then basically, <laughs> <laughs> then that's not what you did. What did I do? When I told him, babe, can you help me with the course? He was uh, doing, <laughs> he was trying to do it like laces in fours. I said, this one you have to do it one by one, bro, please. Yeah. So then that happened. Um, and then um, we, there wasn't much action. In terms of actual sex on mm. the night, mm. um, yeah, there wasn't much action. But it, for me, I just enjoyed the fact that we were together mm. again. Like you said, hugging, kissing. No, give them the details. We were in the shower, kissing. We were it was passionate. <laughs> there was music yeah, playing. Don't, there was don't music skip playing. Me. Come on, yes, I love that. I love there that. There was music playing. Mm. We was in the shower. I just felt like the rain was just coming on hey! us. Mm. All this stuff. Mm-hmm. It was really, really. Nice, it was yeah. Nice. It was really, really nice. Um, yeah, I think on the night I was like in pain, so I was just like, "Oh, yeah, this is not working." But Dipo was so sweet. He was like, "Don't worry, babe. We have got the rest of our lives to go." Oh, oh. Yeah. that's wedding night, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, that honey he dealt with me. <laughs> <laughs> that honey he dealt with oh, me. My goodness, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you have to be sweet. It, it yeah. to be sweet. What was your experience? My experience, I was in my suit downstairs thinking, when we get upstairs, yeah, I'm ready. I've had a little bit of bubbly. I think one of the aunties gave us a bottle. Am I right? I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm nice off the bubbly. We're going upstairs. We're about to go in. Obviously, she needs help with the corset. It's tangled. I'm struggling. <laughs> I just remember it just being a romantic, as they say. So kissing <laughs> in the, under the shower, just, you know what I mean? It was like how she would have imagined in that sense of yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously, I think for that moment there, then as Brie explained it, to be honest with you, it's, it's pretty much as she said it, it mm-hmm. was a pain. So I couldn't really mm-hmm. get off. But at the same time, we just did our thing. We slept, we woke up went off to the honeymoon and then I think there that's <laughs> when we really like really you're enjoyed like you're yeah. not taking no prisoners to exactly. my wife now. Yeah. yeah. No, I no, love no, that. No, I mean and, nice and, and you say yeah. that okay it was just a wedding night, but you know, I can imagine the the frustration, you know, um or the disappointment, should I say? Because, you know, you feel like, okay, I'm really looking forward to this. You yeah. are fully it's my, ready it's my and time. everything. Mm. Exactly. It's my time. And then, you know, that was happening. So at that point, you could have reacted differently. But yeah, you didn't. it's true. true. It's true. Because it's at that point, you could have been... What's like, oh, going on? Yeah. Yeah. You understand? And yeah. to be honest, there's been many stories of that yeah. happening. Yeah. And almost starting your marriage on the wrong yeah. foundation. Yeah. You yeah. know, because... She would always remember that That's this is what happened me. and yeah. this is how you Very treated me. True. So what you did, saying, "Don't worry about it, babe." That's mm. not. It's not just romantic. That is really sweet. And yeah. she would forever cherish that. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. Cherish forever it. cherish yeah. that. That's right. why she remembered it now. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it remembered made it. me because you know sometimes like, it's a bit daunting, mm. nerve wracking, like, nerve wracking yeah. when you speak of each other's previous experiences and you're like, wow, will I be able to mm. even like make Match him up. happy yeah. or satisfy mm. him or whatever. So when it happened and he said that, I just said, oh, come here, man. I love come you here, so much. Mm. <laughs> but that, was that the first, like, I love you, like how you said it? No, 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 this one, <laughs> this one, this one was this one I love you now. <laughs> <laughs> the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. No, 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 thank you guys for sharing that. Thanks I want to ask a question because I actually just remembered, and for you guys that don't know, obviously you don't know, Brunel, you're actually from Ivory Coast, mm-hmm. right? And Dick Ball's Nigerian. Niger. You're a bad boy. Niger. Yeah. Yeah. So... In terms of, I know obviously they're both African countries, mm-hmm. but very different. Very different. Mm-hmm. Very different. How did that play into your dating and even your marriage? Like the fact that you're both from totally, you have different cultures, basically. Yeah. Yeah. How did that play in, and how did that feed into your relationship? Oh, <clears throat> I could say firstly that Nigerian Yoruba culture is very dominant. It is it's mm. very, very. It's based on. <laughs> it's based on. Uh, you know, there's a big emphasis on family, on mm-hmm. community, mm-hmm. like a community raising a child mm-hmm. rather than an immediate family raising mm-hmm. a child. And it's based on a lot of, you know, we have a lot of uh, values, God, uh, family, respect, prosperity. Mm-hmm. These are things that we cherish and value and we mm-hmm. 
pride in ourselves, you know, Reverend, Governor, uh, 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 <laughs> Overseer, yeah, 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 all of these titles yes, yeah. and things very like true, this. So th- we saw a lot of, of differences, to be honest, with, when it comes to our family. So for example, when it came to, let's say, planning a wedding, mm. I had to be more careful with the people I invited to the wedding mm. because the way we grew up was, look, everyone can come, everyone's aunties, uncles, everyone you lot can come, like, yeah. what? He bring your sister, bring your brother, like, boom, boom, boom. What's the name? Like, come, you know come. what I mean? But at the same time, Brew, she she kind of needed me to be more intentional with who I invited. She didn't want it right. to just be a Yoruba fest, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I had to be content. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had to be uh, intentional with sort of my parents mm-hmm. in terms of how the trad goes, knowing mm-hmm. that we're coming to take a wife. It's yes. not. That's that other not, way around, you know? Yeah. And when you come and take a wife, you have to go to the house of where the wife is from. Mm-hmm. And you've got to respect yes. how it is in their house. Yes. You know yes. what I mean? It's Very not true. It's not that I come to your house and I start moving the pictures and then I start, <laughs> I start putting the plates in a different place in your house, you yeah. know? So there definitely had to be some consideration to how they do things and sit down with them, their side of the family, and then it's like, okay, cool. This is what you like. Cool, cool, cool. This is what. And to, to be honest with you, overall, how things turned out, it, it went really, really well. But mm. the, it, we we had to make that adjustment mm. and know when to say, okay, this is what we are. But at the same time, know when to say, no, nah, okay, let's fall back on this. Let's mm-hmm. actually respect respect yes. her and her family with this one. Mm. Mm. So, so I'm hearing yeah. boundaries. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Set boundaries. Yeah. yeah. I think in terms of, to answer your question, in terms of dating, there wasn't really any like major Mm -hmm. differences Differences. because Mm -hmm. i grew up as you know a lot of my friends are nigerian so i'm pretty much very accustomed to the culture Mm -hmm. i love the culture i love the people Mm -hmm. so for me it wasn't really hard you Mm. know we know nails down guys (laughs) (laughs) since i've been doing that since since. (laughs) so coming into dipper's family it wasn't necessarily hard Mm -hmm. um and also in like um when he was engaged, what well, there wasn't really a difference that mm. I eat Nigerian food, he eats Ivorian food, mm. he's come to visit my parents in in France, and like it's just it's nice because he um he's adopted my culture and I've adopted mm. his, mm-hmm. but yeah the the only time where there was a bit of a hiccup where it's like rah you're really Ivorian and I'm really Nigerian mm. was the wedding planning, yeah. right. um and um yeah specifically the traditional wedding because obviously I never realized how much. Weddings are a big deal for Nigeria. Oh, it is. That's <laughs> hey. one of our major celebrations. Very As big. in such a big, big, yes. a big deal. So um, I remember feeling like this is overbearing. Mm. This is a lot. Like everyone just calm down. It's not mm. that deep. Da, 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 da. But I later on figured out that it's just the excitement, the joy, the, yes. joy, the pride. My it. son the is pride. getting married yes. and it's the first wedding in his yes. family. Yes. First wedding in mine as well. So mm-hmm. it was very much like a lot of excitement, a lot of joy, a lot of pride, you know, for the fact that it's a celebration. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, like later on, you can, I really just understood that. Like I remember there was a time where I took mum to, um, um the venue where we was getting married before mm-hmm. so i just wanted her to see the venue and everything mm-hmm. guys when we got there she said ah this is good people can tie their girl over here <laughs> people can do this over there i said mom no one's tying girl in the movie <laughs> but i could just see the, the joy, joy on her face she was so so happy. happy so i realized that actually do you know what what i may be um reading or interpreting as overbearing it's actually her just being gassed. That yeah, mm-hmm. my son's getting married. My son's getting exactly. married. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. But yeah. now it's it's really beautiful, it's beautiful, like how we mesh together and mesh mm. together. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, and we can good. see that meshing. Like we, it's very evident very with obvious. you guys. Yes. It's very obvious that mm-hmm. you guys are. It's not even. Yes, Dickbo, you're Nigerian. Yes, Brunel, you're Ivorian, but you're one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I see that more than anything. Mm-hmm. So that's why I had to even, because I'm sure if I told, if I didn't tell people, no one would know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no. Mm-hmm. That's what, so I just thought, let me just bring that out because you guys are moving together as one. Like there's no separation. Okay, and mm-hmm. I think that's, that's really good. That's really a testament. And I pray that God keeps you guys in there. Amen. 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 Very good. Amen. On that note, let us switch to French. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> So it'll just be her talking. Yeah, it'll, just, it'll just be Brunel talking. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Well, no, you dude, you, you should learn some French, you know. I, that would actually yeah. help with your communication. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but can you speak think? Yoruba, though? Yeah, dear, yeah. dear. Ah! <laughs> She tries, she tries, she tries. It's yeah. nice, nice. Loving it, loving it. Um, so should we go to go back to the conflict part? Obviously, mm-hmm. we're talking about communication and talking mm. about your difference in culture. Um, so do you remember like your first, you know, real argument or conflict, you know, in marriage? Um, what that felt like? And then what would you say is your strategy for for resolving conflict, you know, um, in terms of how do you approach your conflict resolution? Mm. Mm. looking back one year now i'd say brew and i generally are quite both quite passionate people Mm. Um, Mm. you call yourself passionate yeah i'll I'll definitely say that um however the way we deal with it is different so Mm. brew is more confrontational on the spot let's talk about this now Mm. and they call that the rhino me, I'm yes. more the hedgehog. Yeah, so I won't. I don't want to talk about it now. That's yes, me. but that's the opposite for us. <laughs> yeah. I'm the rhino. That's she's me. the hedgehog. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about it. <laughs> yeah. So obviously, but obviously, when the hedgehog closes up, it's sharp. That's yes. what I'm so saying. Like come, <laughs> don't play with us, yes. I might say something that I really yeah, exactly regret. Yes. really regret. Oh my god. Oh. So yes. for us, I think navigating through that kind of meant us. You know, sometimes for a team, you concede some goals. You know, mm. sometimes it's like, okay, we lost this one. This is where yes. I messed up. This is where I messed mm. up. I didn't mean to say this. And, it, and acknowledging the fact that, yeah, we lost that one. I'm so sorry for, for what I said. Really yes. coming back and having counsel as well with people mm. in That's like our bit, church, yeah. like godly counsel, um, with people who have been in the game, serving God, loving mm. like each other in marriage, um, to kind of hear what we've been going through and give us advice as to how yes. we should navigate it. Mm. And um, one thing that I would say I've learned that's helping me navigate this is just learning more about brew after every loss. So mm. each loss is a, is a lesson at the end mm. of the day. It's not just a loss for a loss sake. Mm. And I, I learned things about her that in some aspects of life, she might be more sensitive or she mm. might be more emotional about, or she might require more care mm. about. And sometimes I see, not in a sexist way, but I see women or my wife, I should say, let me speak about Ruby, as sometimes a, a girl, like a girl that needs to be held and I'm spoken an egg, to. I'm yeah, an egg. Yes. yes. And spoken to yes. gently. Yes. And you can't, I can't always talk to her like how I talk to the yes. guys. Correct. You yes. know? Correct. And, um, there's certain things that Brew has learned that I'm sensitive about, like mm. my ego, for example. Ego, ego, ego. Don't, you know what I mean? Ego. That sometimes, as a man, my ego don't, you know what I mean? You don't it needs play to with be, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Be gentle be with it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So I think with each time as, um, that we've lost that, that I thought to myself, okay, cool. Brew doesn't like it when I speak to her like this, or Brew doesn't mm. like it when I say this. And sometimes it will be a on it will be an ongoing argument about I don't I said I don't like this this is why don't you? and it's like I can't change what you don't like I can't mm. change I can't argue against what has affected you or your feelings mm. and stuff like that so what I do is I take it on board I'll still voice what I'm saying but I'll change my tone I'll make mm. it less accusatory I'll mm-hmm. make it less direct and I'll just say I'll question her more or I'll try mm. and develop and understanding more. Yeah. So yes. things like that is yeah. what we've learned. I, I agree. I would say that over the year, <clears throat> we've definitely improved mm. in how we, number one, um, understand each other or how we endeavor to understand each other and how we deal with each other. Mm-hmm. I think, you know, when you first get married, there's expectations versus reality. Yes. You know, you think it's going to go one way. You know, you'll say that, oh, babe, you know, when we argue, you know, let's not, the Bible says, don't let the sun go down. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the sun has the gone sun down. down. The sun has gone down. The sun has gone down. It's, come, gone up down. it's come up again. <laughs> so I think kind of like, and also, I feel like conflict is very exposing. Mm-hmm. Oh. I thought I was such a good girl. Oh, yes. You know, you know, you know what is exposing? Marriage is exposing. Marriage, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Marriage is very exposing. You, thought, you think Marriage yourself, is exposing. Yeah. I, I can't believe I got angry at that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Me, yeah. Me, for me, one thing I pride myself in on or I used to, and I think it's some it was a kind of pride in the sense that 
I don't shout. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I was the shouter. Mm-hmm. So when I get to that point that I'm shouting, I'm like, nah. Yeah. yeah. How did me? And how I did I get this? Me yeah. of all people. Yeah. How did yeah. I, I, how I, was I shouting? And I think and I think that took us a good four four or five years. Yes. Wow. This was part of what we talked about on our fifth year yes. anniversary wow. review. Yeah. Because she was saying that she has now seen that obviously she's not flawless. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because she used to look at herself I used as to... I am here. I'm yeah. Man. I'm the cause. You're yeah. the cause. I'm the cause You're, of the problem. Yeah. yeah. She's flawless. She's yeah. an angel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But obviously, it took four <laughs> years for her to realize. Okay, actually, I'm not I'm an angel. Not an angel. Yeah. So this I've actually pride comes before a fall. Yeah. I yeah. fell. I've actually <laughs> contributed <laughs> to a lot of the issues that we're dealing yeah. with. Yeah. 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 So I think so. I hear you guys when you say that, and it's all also understanding that okay, this is actually a journey. Yes. Yeah. And understanding that we are here together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're going to continue to learn together, mm-hmm. and ultimately those differences for me it took me a few years right but understanding what you said those differences just our male mm-hmm. and female, female it really yeah. is mm-hmm. yeah like if you can hack that it will save your it will save so much stress Absolutely. just hack the fact that we are different yeah. so true. you know yeah. we are so it. different like i can't remember what what book it was whether it was um uh, men are from, from venus, venus and, yeah. and women are, are from, from yeah. You know, it's just even yeah. our thinking, our mm-hmm. communication, mm-hmm. right? Um, how women can be like spaghetti, yeah, yeah. and literally all your your thoughts are actually linked, Entangled, and yeah. how a man is literally boxed yeah. like yeah. a waffle. <laughs> yeah. So literally, and for a long time, you're having you're having arguments, mm-hmm. and you cannot like where did that come <laughs> from? Where did that come from? <laughs> like why why are you listening? This is to so you? true. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The woman here, I also I didn't say that. Well, and I said, but you implied it. Yeah, exactly. you yeah. implied it, and yeah. he's like. No, I didn't. Yeah. yeah. So the woman's brain is different from the man's brain. So a lot of the time, I'm like, okay, let me try and think like a woman now. Yeah. Obviously, I know they say they think, think like, like a, a man. man. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, let me try and put myself in her shoes. Yeah. And think like a woman. Yeah. Okay, now I see why she said that. Yeah. Now I see why she did that. Mm-hmm. And then make excuses for her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So a lot of the time, a lot of the things that would have thought about, mm. I've already reasoned, reasoned it. And I'm like, mm. yeah, it's because of. Ha, that's how <laughs> yeah. And so I think one time push. I even said that, like, yes, just just excuse me because it's me. Yes. Yeah. Mm, yeah. That's good. That's yeah. good. I'm, I'm just excuse and so, like sometimes like there's some things that maybe I will do and I'll be like, I'll just reason it before I want to go and do something to mm. reciprocate. Because yeah. you know you can give the same energy. If you want to be bad boy, me too, I can be, be bad, a bad girl. girl. <laughs> but that that's where the problem lies. Yeah, because it's pride. You need to sit, it is pride. So mm. you need to sit down and think could be many things, you know. It could be he actually had a bad day at work. Mm. Yeah. It could be actually that what he expected, just like with our children sometimes, you know, sometimes they have bad days or you excuse your boss, mm. you excuse other people. But mm. when it's your husband, you're like, nah, you can't, you can't talk to that. me like that. You yeah. don't talk to me like that. Yeah. But if your boss, you're like, yes, sir. Yep, I'll get that. I'll get that turned yeah. around in yeah. 15 minutes. That's yeah. so true. Yeah, it's true. Like a lot of the time we like to be our own lawyer, but their judge. Yeah. 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 Real love is being there, being a lawyer for them. Mm. As yes. Well. Advocate and trying to advocate. And it's like, yes. yes, I like that. Oh, that's, that's a good uh, one. That's, that's a, a good one. It's yeah. like my pastor always says that we're not each other's enemies. That like mm. your wife is not your enemy. Mm. Your husband is not. You have an enemy in common. Yes. That yes. you should be fighting. Yes. But sometimes we get lost. Very true. You know, we get lost in, I'm trying to prove my point. You're yes. not listening to mm-hmm. me. Da, 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 da. And it's like, we lose. Mm-hmm. We, we both lost, by the way. There's no such thing as I've won this one, you've lost. No. I'm so happy that we you're saying lost. this. And I think, and I hope this would actually help uh, a few people because just understanding that, okay, we're a team. Mm. Okay. I remember... And I still do it now, where you just sense that, listen, let us take control of what is happening now mm. and let's not let the enemy oh. win. Yeah. Because that's, the that's moment. Wow. Yeah, trust me. That's good, though. That's, that's really good. good. So I'm like, let us pause. And sometimes, right in the middle of the argument, we are praying. Mm. Wow. I'm like, takes... let us pray right now. Wow. Mm. That's, because because that's argument, good. This is about to turn arguments into something go else. so left and you're For no yeah. reason. You can't even remember yes. why. Yeah. 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 That's when you know that the enemy, enemy is at hand. You start arguing about why you started arguing. Yes. And the actual point. 
exactly. We're arguing about the technicalities. Yeah. 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 The technicalities. Yeah. Even sometimes when I said that to me one time, I was like, no, you got the chance to be angry. Now I want to be <laughs> angry. I was like, baby, no. He actually held me. He actually held me and hugged me. He's like, baby, no. And then when I deep it, because when you, because you know, you, like you said, like, Look, after the losses, you want to try and evaluate. Yeah, you, know, you go back and you're like, "No, I was really being a damn fool." Yeah, <laughs> As in. I was really being silly. Yeah, I was really being silly because, because really that was silly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, so I'm so happy that, that I'm happy that you said that because in all of this, right? God is always, God is the center of it all. Mm. You know, God is the center of it all, and um. God is the orchestrator of marriage. Mm. And um, if you don't have God in it, mm. and I'm not exactly sure how you want to win it. You can't. It's tough, you man. Know. Even with God, like, we've lost many times. So without yeah. God, yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. How tough. harder and how yeah. hard, tougher yeah. it is. Exactly. Definitely. I wanted to ask you guys, is there, because obviously before you got married, there's mm. some things that you might have expected. Dipo's going to do this. Bruce going to do this. Is there any kind of uh, reality versus expectations, expectations versus reality that, that expectations versus reality that you really that's really shocked your system? Where you had to wake up and smell the coffee, coffee. Mm. to think because uh, I don't know I had expectations, bro. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I had expectations, mm. and um, so it almost like feels like okay, some of the expectations, a lot of my expectations were met. Mm. Yeah, mm. but it almost feels like I remember some of my expectations where ah. So this is, do you understand? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, For me, I expected that. Even though we had arguments when we dated, I expected that since we're married, no more argument again. Mm. So when we actually argued, I was like, what? Mm. What? Like it actually brought me to tears because I was like, no, mm. this shouldn't be happening. Be. But it's 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 life. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. The, the arguments don't need to be as intense. And I think yeah. as you grow in marriage, yes. you yeah. realize, you find some things you're just like, just come and give me a hug. Mm. Because the other day, I said to me, you're being a big baby, just come. Mm. Just come here <laughs> and come and get a hug. And I was like, I'm not being a baby, I'm just... <laughs> He's like, come and get a hug. Yeah. And, you know, in the beginning, that might have been, you know what, I'm not talking to you. Mm. Like, sure. you know mm-hmm. what, I'm going to blue water by myself. Mm. <laughs> But now it's like, we, we don't do that. We're gonna, even Mickey will be like, mommy, go and give daddy a hug. Aww. Exactly. You know yeah. what I mean? So <laughs> expectation versus reality. Anything at all? I think for me. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Now, Here we go. Okay, I'll start with, okay. I thought that when I was coming into marriage, I'm not going to talk about sex now. I want to talk about, yeah, I want to talk about how what dying to self means mm. that's what i'm going to talk about i want to talk about the fact that when you come into this thing there's a lot of things that you as your your flesh mm-hmm. would want how you want things to go um you have a schedule let's say for example when i come back from work i'm tired i'll i'm mm. expecting food to be there mm. ready mm. i'm expecting you know what i mean the house to be cleaned. Mm. I've been working in the office. You've been working from home. So what have you been I've doing? Still been working, mm. right? Do you know mm. what I mean? So, mm. so that, that's the home the, is still an office, though. Yeah, definitely. It's like, and it's like I've, I'm, I'm expecting all these things. Like if I go to play basketball, if I go to the gym, let food be ready for me when I come back, mm. kind of thing. And I know it sounds wild, but yeah. that's this is what that, I was, that was your expectation. Yeah, this is what yeah. this is what yeah. I was expecting. Yes. So mm. I think for me, I I had to learn in all of those circumstances that dying to self the bible says that we need to sacrifice ourselves and lay our lives down mm-hmm. for her so yes. it's not that it's not the other way around mm-hmm. and at the end of the day there's going to be a lot of things that i have to deny myself of just to make sure that she's good mm-hmm. and sometimes it means i have to deny myself of the comfort of how i want things to go mm-hmm. in the evening after mm-hmm. work how how I, it's not going to be like that all the time what she has met my expectation with that a lot of the time mm-hmm. where the house is clean and i feel like that's part of her naturally mm-hmm. or where there's food yes. but when when there's been the many times day. <laughs> There's been many times where that did not happen, and I I'm was surprised because Bruno likes a good clean, you know. Thank yeah, you. Da- yeah. She loves a good clean. I, think think I can even actually relate <clears throat> to that because the thing is, that is the expectation that you've brought in again, possibly from 
you, where you how you grew up mm. what you have seen mm. it could have also be from your friends mm-hmm. own home because mm. all of these different expectations come from our backgrounds and yeah. experiences right yeah and um when you expect it you expect it a hundred percent right wow so That's because i'm point. saying that because where you said that okay it's the one percent or ten percent yeah it can be very annoying and frustrating yeah. but now obviously he's now learned from that yeah you know, in that one year space you yeah. Know? yeah definitely so, good, so good, good. when we used to get into arguments about that and so i noticed and i, I it's like i kind of started to realize that I'm not actually dying to myself here. I'm not actually sacrificing what yes. I want here. I'm not putting my yes. needs to the side mm-hmm. for my wife. Mm. And it's just like, I've had mm. to take a new approach to that and just try and do things, even if it means, and this is something that my pastor like, had a conversation with me about as well. Even if it means coming home with dinner and say, babe, don't worry about yes. dinner, dinner sorted. Love it. Do you know what I mean? Or cleaning up or doing the laundry, do, mm-hmm. doing something. It's not that, it's not that she should just be expected to do everything, everything. in the yes. house and I'm just lying there doing nothing yeah. as well because mm-hmm. that's also the other extreme that's yes. yeah. completely exactly. unfair. And Love you it. know what's so funny as you're saying that, babe? I'm thinking about the expectations that I felt like you had of me that mm. I needed to fulfill. To. Mm-hmm. So like in the first three months of marriage, I was very overwhelmed because mm. I felt like, rah, wow. this is a lot. Mm-hmm. Like... If it's when I was living alone, if I like, I can eat um uh, cocoa pops. Night. Do you get what I'm trying to yes. say? But yes. when I, I was making oxtail curry, like, all these things, yeah. Great. And it was like <laughs> I'm actually tired. It's a lot. But then in my head, I'm thinking I can't stop. Yeah, mm-hmm. I need like, to. Yeah, I need, I need to, to keep going. Do you get what I'm trying wife. to say? And I yes. and I realized that. One of my friends were asking me, like, oh, how have you found marriage? How have you found... I said, it's nice to live with my best friend. and da-da-da. But I'm, I don't know. For some reason, I feel overwhelmed mm. because I'm doing laundry. I'm bearing in mind, when we came back from the honeymoon, there's so many dirty clothes. Yeah. So I've been washing clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing laundry. I'm cooking. I'm cleaning. I'm doing all of these things. Mm. I'm still working, by the way. Yeah. Do you get mm. what I mean? Even if I'm working, at, uh, working from home, I'm still working. Mm. So it's like... All of those things I was doing because I wanted to make him happy. Mm. And at the same time, I didn't know how to communicate the fact Mm. that I'm actually, this is a lot. Mm -hmm. This is a Mm -hmm. lot because it's a big transition to go from single to married, you know? (laughs) So I think I was also thinking about his expectations. But to say for me, um, I don't know if I had many expectations, you know? I felt like nothing can really prepare you for the real... Deal. the mm. reality of marriage mm. so it's like as much as i can expect this that this and that i think i had expectations of cleaning but when i got there i knew that oh i'm gonna yeah she has big i'm gonna be cleaning, cleaning this thing no, I've, yeah, i remember you being a clean, clean yeah like i remember so when we first got married moved in together we got the i moved into the flat before we got married and then after the wedding he moved in right. so i remember like the first week going into the bathroom after him there's water everywhere <laughs> they're so pure I'm thinking, ah, what's, what's going on what's happening here what's going on so anyways week one in it so i thought oh, i still honey me let me not say me with it week two the same thing i did say, week three i said no come on bro <laughs> so i asked him i said babe um, uh... can i ask you a question when you come out of the bath what exactly do you do <laughs> he said what do you mean i said <laughs> What do you do when you come out of the bath? What do you do? Oh Just explain goodness. to me your routine, your step when you finish. He said, that is such a weird question. Said, I love it. He said, I just come out. <laughs> I said, you just come out. I just come out. So you don't look back to see any soap, any anything. He said, no. I said, okay, please. From now on, can we be doing this few steps when you finish? <laughs> you know, so I think that's the expectation that I had. But because I had lived with other people, I knew that everyone's different, different. You know, mm-hmm. and everyone's family background, it's upbringing, different. everything is different. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Nice, Good one. nice. I have to say another one. Okay. Another expectation versus reality is the. I realized how much I had to expand my emotional capacity. Mm. Mm. Um, like when I wake up in the morning on a weekday, I say thank you, God. After I've said my prayers to God, it's work. I'm mm-hmm. in I'm in work mode. Straight. Mm-hmm. What meetings do I have? What's my boss saying? What's my deadline? I'm not here. You know what I mean? Yes. So I'm straight in the bath, 
getting my bag, putting my clothes on, uh, getting ready. Da, 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 da. I come to Bree. Bye, babe. I'm off. See, and she hated that, and I and I couldn't comprehend what is the issue here. What's yeah, wrong? What's wrong? Yeah. She said, and until one day she she said it to me that she was just so upset at the fact that the the time that you're going to you're saying hi to me is the time that you're I'm going saying bye, to saying me. bye basically, and you're mm. leaving. And it's like, ah, so what do you want me to do? You want me to come and hug you on the floor and kiss you <laughs> on the bed and on the sofa and make you a cup of tea and be kissing you in the morning before I go to work? Yeah, That's right. unreal. Every day, yeah. I thought like that was unrealistic. So I think for me, I learned that I have to make space for yes. her emotions mm. in the house, in the flat. Absolutely. Mm. So even if it means I'd wake up in the morning, pray, or we pray together, mm-hmm. come through, hug her, morning, babe, sleep well. Okay, cool. Good, good. Get in a, get in mm-hmm. a shower. You know what I mean? Even that is enough to fill her yeah. love tank. Yeah, 100%. Because exactly. he, uh, he just used to wake up. I think I want to explain it. <laughs> he just used to wake up. I'm going to hear sh- shower. We finish showering. Get ready. He put his shoes on as he's opening the door. Bye, babe. Ah. No, come on now. What's no, going on? Come on no, now. you didn't always, babe. You come didn't always. Now. You didn't always come to see me. Because I've, I've already started work by then. By the mm. time he's leaving. So it's like, you. I'm already up. So I'm not going to wake you up to say good morning. You're yeah. still sleeping. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when you're awake, what's stopping you from coming to That's just say true. morning, babe? Mm-hmm. That's true. Sleep well. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm just going to go and get ready. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, as I'm seeing him, is as I'm, as he's going. <laughs> <laughs> we learn. We but learn. No, I'm glad that you shared that because, um, and the fact that you actually took that on board mm. and did something about it. Because yeah. again, it looks like it's not a big deal. Mm-hmm. As you said, like... <laughs> I said bye. I said hi. I said bye. Exactly. Going, How's that with you? <laughs> but you know, you decided to to work on that you yeah. know, and do something about that again to make her happy, to fill her tank, mm-hmm. her love tank, <laughs> and her emotional tank. Okay. Mm. So, um, thanks for sharing that, guys. Right. I'm just conscious of time because whether you like it or not, we have been here for an hour now. Wow. wow. Really? <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, that's true. Actually. We've been here for over an hour now, so we yes. kind of just wanna wrap it up but we just want to say thank you guys okay for coming to kick it with us thank you thank you for coming to sit on the blue couch (laughs) all right um, and believe it or not we learn from you too that's why that's that's why it's important to and i I would encourage you guys to do this as well talk to as many married couples Mm. as you can Mm. like you learn so much from experiences you learn so much from people's how they dealt with stuff and even the way you guys have dealt with stuff is already i'm like ah god i I can pick from that i can learn from Mm -hmm. it absolutely you know because marriage is the journey or the class that you never you never stop never graduate you never graduate from Mm -hmm. you get a certificate before even graduate you get married it's true you know Mm -hmm. before Before you've done anything before you've done the practical do you get what i mean so there's so much to learn and i said you guys have such a bright future but i can i know already like you you've got such great mentors around you Mm -hmm. and you're so intentional Mm -hmm. so and i just really pray that god continues to bless you guys amen and lift you guys up you will be a blessing to others your marriage will be a godly example amen Amen. jesus mighty name amen Amen. 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 family Please help us thank our lovely guest yes. for gracing our channel and sharing all of their nuggets and experience. And I love the fact that you guys kept it real. Yes. You guys kept it real. As you know, we are very real on this channel. Mm-hmm. Okay. We are very vulnerable. We are mm-hmm. very, you know, open and Authentic. transparent about yes. everything. Okay. And I'm so glad that you guys shared, shared in that vision and shared your vulnerability with us. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to the channel and you have not subscribed, I'm surprised. Subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, <laughs> comment, subscribe, share. share. Yes. Make sure you do that. <laughs> like, you know, this was really good. So please, guys, subscribe, like, and share. All right. Yeah. And then, if you want to support what we're doing, okay, so we can continue to do what we're doing, mm. please give. Okay, the links are there. The yes. PayPal as well as the link to our giving page on the website Davis dot com okay yeah. it has been an amazing amazing so day lovely. today yeah. pleasure and um yeah so we'll come and visit because now we know that you guys don't stay too far from yeah, us so yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. Visit yeah. from time to time yeah. so that we can have some oxtail because you know, i'll just be too i'm going there so we're going to come and eat all of that no yeah. problem. No, so, no, so thank you guys ladies and gentlemen any more for any more 
no more for no more baby i think this is a point where we say we love you guys mm -hmm. but god loves you more <laughs> we shall see you in, in the, the next, next video, video. bye, bye. Hey guys